welcome to the Cherise Bay Concept Pro and this program is where you tell it all, tell the truth. This is where we have artists come and my first guest. Guess is who? Gadi G. It's a pleasure being here with the beautiful, amazing and the most talented <laughs> Cherise James. Asso! Gadi G said. Asso! Thank you for being here Gadi G. It's a pleasure. So Gadi G, let's know when you started with this singing and stuff like that. I've been doing this for a while from way back since I was in primary school but on a serious note and I started taking it seriously I would say in like 2008 mm -hmm. where that's when I team up with my, my brother from another mother little J big up yourself anywhere you at we started out you know what I mean and we started doing our thing and then it started turn up you know what I mean okay. everybody started gravitating towards the music so I'm like you know what I mean so we started going hard and we started like really taking it seriously and trying to you know be like reach to an international level you understand so and the people was giving us good feedback and stuff like that so and I'm here right now people still loving the vibes 2015 okay. Okay, Gadi G, being from the Guyana community and start off singing, you grew up in Guyana, right? Yep. Okay, so growing up from there, coming to the U.S. Hey, singing and stuff like that, how is, how is it getting the support from your Guyanese community? Yeah. 150% Guyanese, you understand? <laughs> yeah. So, most of the people I know is Guyanese, mm -hmm. so the, the, the Guyanese people support me, you understand? Okay. They support me on a level. The Guyana DJs um, do not really play the music in the club because I'm Guyanese too, mm -hmm. many people know. And when I be in the club, like Rose Garden is like one of the big Guyana yeah, clubs yeah, yeah. and people think. And I be in there and I don't really hear. It's just one song, Sorak check, Hennessy check. That's like the mm -hmm. only song I be hearing. Maybe DJ Neville or DJ Cat. Those two yeah, are DJ the only Cat, one, but there is a lot well. more DJ. Yeah, DJ Neville. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more DJ I know from Guyana that's mm -hmm. played there and playing a lot, lot more clubs So mm -hmm. I don't understand why they don't promote Guyana artists Well, that's that, that that's that's something with Guyana DJs like Everybody just seems to want to be like a follower. Nobody want to be a leader. You mm -hmm. understand? They want to play Jamaican music and they want to talk like Jamaicans and they want to do everything Jamaican does promoting Jamaican culture you know what I mean? While yes. they don't realize that they're stifling their own culture. Because if, if they go on the mic talking Jamaican, you know what I mean, playing Jamaican music, Jamaica is getting more exposure. You understand? Yes, that's true. While Guyana, nobody knows about Guyana, nobody even knows Guyanese, Guyanese could sing, dance, some music, soccer music, army music, all. Because yeah. we as a people in Guyana, you know, we grew up listening to different type of music. We don't have one music. That's why. We listen, we listen to all genre of music. So that's why Gadiji could sing soca. I sing dance. I just someone start singing Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of our culture that's anyway. How, that's, how, that's how versatile Gadiji is, you yeah, understand? But right now, culture. all we need to do is, as a people and the DJ need to realize that without them, we can't go anywhere. That's true. And, that's true. and even if you don't want to play Guyanese music in, in the heat of the party, you know what I mean? You could start it in the beginning of the party, warm up the party with Guyanese music. Play it at some point so yeah. that people could hear the music. Because if they don't hear, they're not going to know. That's you understand? true, that's true, that's true. So that's, that's, that's one struggle that's, that's been around for years and it's still here. Okay, because it's not like we as Guyanese do not um, support each other. It's mm -hmm. like the DJs then. Because if I go to a club and I hear a nice song and I like it, I would decide to look up the song and start saying, who sing that, who mm -hmm. sing that? But in a guy, guy in his community party, the DJ don't play it on the radio. They don't. They play different reggae and stuff like yeah. that. So that so that's what people know about. So you trying to send a message to guy and his DJs and stuff like that support their own. That's it. Yeah, I I should not even have to tell them. They should supposed to just see it in themselves, knowing that they guy Yeah. Knowing that because I'm not saying play every guy and his artist that come to you and see their artist because there are some guy and his artists that really suck you understand okay and if i suck i would encourage them not to play my music because i don't want to put kind of out on no no low level like that okay. but if my music is sung in as good as the jamaican music mm -hmm. and the trini music you understand play guyanese artists the same way you would big up a jamaican artist or, or play the music with that same excitement 
You understand? Just play Guyanese music just like that. Show us the same love and the same respect that you would show Jamaican artists. You understand? Yeah, that's that's, true. that's all that's true. we asking for as Guyanese. Yeah. Because if if you don't do it for us, who's gonna do it? The Jamaicans not gonna come and play Guyanese music. No, that's you understand? No. So when you play they when you when when, when you play when you play the Jamaican music and the Jamaican <laughs> playing their own music and you playing Trini music and the Trini playing their own music, yeah. Trini getting bigger, Jamaicans getting bigger, yeah. and they nobody do nothing for Guyana. That's you true, they support their own. And everybody know is I've been doing this for a while. Brooklyn know me, mm -hmm. you understand? Yeah. Most of the Guyanese top DJs them know me, you understand? But I'm not the type of person that's gonna suck up. I don't suck up. Straight okay. up. I don't suck up to nobody. You understand? And, and most of these DJs, they want you to like suck up to them because they probably they wanna be the more important thing in the Guyanese entertainment community. The DJs wanna be the biggest. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, so Maybe they feel if they play your music or whatever, you're gonna reach a higher level than them, you understand? And they no, just wanna be the true. biggest thing. That's what Sorry I about that's support, what I think. Guyana. Come on, just support your own. Yeah, man. It's support. not hard. Because natural black. You know he's an example. He leaves yeah. his hometown, his home country, and went to the next mm -hmm. country just to move forward. You know, that's very sad that you can become um, move forward in life in your own community as one because at the end of the day we're one people because that's just a pressure it's, it's like if you don't go to Jamaica or Trinidad and they recognize you as talented and then when when you already blow up in these countries or you bust so they say if you bust in these countries Boss. then is when guy and guy and they're gonna say oh he's a guy and he's and then they're gonna be like you know oh, then, then they're gonna want to own you but for, for why why they just can't give you that same love from now i don't have to go to jamaica and and the jamaicans to push me before Guyana start push me because okay. it's i'm going i will go to jamaica with the same talent i'm doing the same thing so why you can't just show me that love from now and some things need to be put in place where Guyanese artists, you know what I mean, could get exposure. Well, I know they're trying with the um the music industry in Guyana right now. Okay. Where where artists could copyright this stuff and you know what I mean. Yeah. And I yeah, think that that's yeah. that, that that that's a, a a really good move for for um music industry in Guyana because yes. when I was living in Guyana, I couldn't say I want to be an artist and get booked for show because there was nothing like that going on in Guyana. No, you so but true. now. That's now so I see artists are actually getting booked for shows and stuff in Guyana, yes. and I'm proud because I support other artists because yes. I'm a I'm a fan of music. I'm not a fan of people. I might not like somebody, but if you're doing good music, I support that because I'm a musician. Yes, and yes. Some people want to take things personal, like oh I don't like that DJ, so they're not gonna like your music. Oh, you understand? It happens. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So fans, give your fans some encouraging mm. words. You understand? Ah, so, you know what say about the G. Don't matter what people say. You just believe in yourself. Put yourself first. Believe in your dreams. And strive for what you believe in. And nothing else matters. As long as you're happy doing what you're doing, you just stick to that. And that's the most important thing. You see? Gadi G said that. Realist. And what you have coming for 2016. I'm excited. <laughs> well, I'm also excited. First of all, you can find Gadi G on Facebook. Okay. Well, I'm maxed out, so you, you can't add me. So just follow <laughs> me on Instagram. But on Facebook, I'm Gadiel Henry. On Facebook, you can follow me on Instagram at Gadi G. You can search Gadi G on YouTube. Just go on YouTube and search Gadi G. There's lots of music, a few videos. And mm. I have so much new music commentaries that I'm so excited about because, like, I think I'm making my best music right now. You know what I mean? Because after all the years, the improvement, I'm seeing the improvement. People is telling me, Gadi G, your latest song is fire. So I have a song called You Alone. I have a song called Good Loving. I have a song called Take a Girl Man right now. You know I love that song. <laughs> One of your favorite, you told me. Yeah. Take a Girl Man, look out for it. Yes. And right now, mm -hmm. I'm trying to work on some videos, you know what I mean? So okay. that people get some visuals, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm putting a, I'm putting a lot of stuff together, you know what I mean? So so hopefully everything come together as okay. as soon as possible, you know what I mean? So that the people can get more of Gadi G. Yeah. And Gadi G is an independent artist. I fund all my, my projects, you understand? Out of my pocket. Hard. So which hard. is which is hard, so that's why I yeah. need the public support. So that's why you need to support Gadi G, you understand? <laughs> yeah. Very well, very and anybody well. looking for the for the modest artist right now, Gadi G 
is independent. So seeking a manager, seeking you know anything for foreign team, music. A team to build a around team. you. Right now, got yes. G building. So and I'm real. You understand? Mm -hmm. I don't sell nobody no dream. I'm real right yes. now. So so he's looking for a team to build around him, guys. So if you know anyone that needs to manage someone and be there for someone, he's here. So book got G. Just hit up 917-436-9787 That's 917-436-9787 Well, Gadi G, I wish you all the best Guyana, support your own Remember, we're one people, one nation, one, one destiny. destiny So support Gadi G, all the best Many, many success Keep doing what you're doing, alright? Alright Thanks for being here We out